Dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for inviting me to this symposium and giving me this opportunity to present the overview and the research of the National Institute of Metrology, Nim, China. I'm Fang Xiang, the Director General of Nim. Also, I'm currently the chairperson of the Asia Pacific Region Metrology Organization, APMP. My presentation consists of three parts. The first one is about some facts and figures of NIM. Founded in 1955, NIM is China's National Metrology Institute. It is also China's representative to the BIPM, APMP, and signatory to the CIPM MRA. It's at the top of China's traceability chain and the heart of China's national metrology system. NIM has three main responsibilities. The first is to develop national measurement standards and ensure their international equivalence. The second is to maintain competitive measurement capabilities and disseminate quantity values through calibration, verification, and testing services to ensure the accuracy and consistency of quantity values throughout China. The third is to conduct a basic and applied research to push back frontiers of metrology and support national strategies. As a research institute, NIM has nine research divisions corresponding to nine metrological disciplines such as time and frequency, dimensional metrology, etc., and seven interdisciplinary research centers, such as Center for Advanced Measurement Science, Center for Engineering Metrology, etc. We have several administrative departments and a couple of supporting departments. Besides, we have a domestic advisory board and an international advisory board. Currently, NIM has about 1,000 permanent or contracted employees and more than 50 postdocs. Over 60% of the employees have a master or PhD degree. According to the figures in June, NIM has 133 national primary measurement standards, 375 measurement standards, 876 first-class certified reference materials, or CRMs, and 1,118 second-class CRMs. NIM registered 1,717 calibration and measurement capabilities, or CMCs, in the BIPM Key Comparison Database. With those standards and capabilities, NIM can provide 1,351 different calibration services, 566 verification services, and 371 testing services. Now, NIM has two campuses in Beijing. One is at Hepingli, in the downtown area, focusing on traditional metrology and customer services, is NIM's center of services. The other one is in Changping district, as NIM's center for innovation, collaboration, and HR development. Besides, NIM also has some joint institutes in other cities for frontier and applied research and technology transfer. Next, I would like to talk about some technical highlights. NIM made accurate measurements of the Boltzmann constant with acoustic thermometry and the Johnson noise thermometry, contributing two values to the 2017 co-data value of the Boltzmann constant. This work has contributed to the redefinition of the Kelvin. NIM has developed the second generation of a joule balance, NIM2, to realize the kilogram since 2013 and kept improving it. With this joule balance, 
Nim participated in the first CCM key comparison of realizations of the new kilogram definition based on the Planck constant in 2019. The standard uncertainty of the Nim result was 4.49 times 10 to minus 8, according to the final comparison report. Nim has self-developed some quantum devices. For establishing quantum measurement standards, including two-volt Josephson junction array devices for quantum voltage standards, quantum voltage noise source chips for a Josephson noise thermometry system, single quantum hole devices, and quantum hole array devices for quantum resistance standards. The main missions of the Division of Time and Frequency are developing and maintaining time and frequency national prime standards and disseminating legal time, which is UTC NIM. We have developed a series of microwave frequency standards. The Type B uncertainty of NIM five season fountain clock is 0.9 times 10 to minus 15. As for timekeeping. We have a clock ensemble consisting of ten H measures and six season clocks. We are also developing a strontium optical lattice clock for the next generation time and frequency standard. The Type B uncertainty was evaluated to be on the order of magnitude of 10 to minus 18. In chemical mystrology, we have developed. Many reference materials. There are four main application fields: food safety, clinic, and pharmaceuticals, environment, and advanced materials. Especially in food safety, typical reference materials include elemental speciation in food, pollutants, mixed doping solution, isotope ratio CRMs, etc. We totally have. 134 CMCs in the food safety area, and 597 kinds of CRMs, among which 151 kinds are matrix CRMs. I would like to mention in particular our efforts in supporting developing NMIs in the food safety area. We have participated in the BIPM CBKT project, metrology for safe food and feed in developing economies since 2016. NIM, along with BIPM and NMISA, conducted a joint project, research and application of measurement standard and technical system in Argo product safety between 2017 and. 2020. It was a follow-up of the BIPM CBKT project. In this project, NIM provided totally 10 people from nine developing countries with trainings with duration of six to 12 months. In the thermometry area, we have developed various measurement standards. Here, I list. The national temperature prime standards covering temperature range from 13.8 Kelvin to 2,473 Kelvin, a triple point of water cell, standard platinum resistance thermometers, and devices for metal fixed points. In the RF metrology area, we have developed a series. Of RF power primary standards up to 330 gigahertz, we self-designed and fabricated a transfer standard sensor and micro calorimeters. The evaluated measurement uncertainty is on a world-leading level. Some standards have been exported to NIST, NMI of Malaysia, etc. In the gravimetry area. We have a very good site in our Changping campus. It is a global gravity origin since Nim hosted the 2017 
international comparison of absolute gravity meters. It was the first time this comparison had been conducted outside Europe. We have developed a national gravity primary standard with the measurement capabilities. We have provided meteorological services at the South Pole for the first time, and made contribution to the joule balance for the redefinition of the kilogram. For nano metrology, the nano geometric characteristic parameters NIM can measure include nano line width, film thickness, step height, grating and pitch, nano particle size, etc. We developed measuring instruments and reference materials for nanometrology. We are also doing research on next-generation nano measurement standard based on silicon lattice constants. NIM has developed a metrological scanning probe microscope in the millimeter range. The measurement uncertainty is less than two nanometers or twenty nanometers, depending on the measurement range. For measuring nano line width, we have developed microscopes based on different principles. That is a UV microscope, a scanning dual probe microscope, and a scanning electron microscope. We have developed reference materials and standard specimens at the nano scale, ranging from two nanometers to two thousand nanometers, for measuring step heights, grating and pitch. Film thickness and line width. With those reference materials and capabilities, we can provide metrological services to the IC industry. In response to the new SI, we have developed a silicon lattice comparator and conducted research on next-generation nano measurement standards. Before closing this part. I would like to highlight NIMS responses to COVID-19. For SARS-CoV-2 testing, we have developed nucleic acid CRMs, a digital PCR test kit, protein CRMs, and an antibody test kit. Besides, NIM is co-piloting a CCQM study on SARS-CoV-2 RNA measurement, infrared thermometers, or IRTs. Are widely used in China for screening of people with elevated body temperature. NIM provided technical support for correct calibration and proper use of IRTs in China, and organized a webinar on IRTs with more than 270 attendees from 80 economies. Furthermore, NIM is piloting a CCT comparison. On infrared clinical thermometers, ventilators are an important medical equipment in treating COVID patients. NIM has calibrated ventilator testers for more than 300 metrology institutes, medical institutes, hospitals, or companies since the outbreak of COVID-19. NIM provided trainings to NMIs from developing countries. Through an APMP COVID-19 response project. Apart from that, NIM initiated the first international measurement comparison on ventilator testers in the project. In the last part, I would like to talk about international cooperation. NIM is actively involved in international and regional organization activities. Dr. Duan Yuning, a Vice Director General of NIM, has been a CIPM member since 2010. NIM is constantly making contributions to global metrology under the Meter Convention framework. NIM has always been an active member institute in APMP. I was elected as the APMP chairperson for a three-year term from December. 2019 to December 2022, NIM is also an associate member of CUMET, which is the RMO in the Euro-Asian region. NIM maintains cooperation with many developing NMIs. For example, 
NIM has multilateral cooperation with NMIs of Cambodia, Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, and Vietnam under the Lansang Mekong Cooperation Framework. NIM also has bilateral cooperation with NMIs of Cambodia, Myanmar, Thailand, and Mongolia. In those cooperations, NIM entered MOU or cooperation agreement with partner NMIs and carried out joint research projects. And NIM held symposiums and workshops, provided technical consultation and services to the partner NMIs, and accepted visiting scientists to NIM. Next, I would like to specifically review the completed and ongoing cooperation activities between China and Cuba. The two parties have maintained cooperation under CUMET mechanism since 2016. NIM became an associate member of CUMET in 2016 and participated in CUMET committee meetings together with Cuban delegates. Discussions on cooperation were held between the two parties. From 2017 to 2019, high-level visits were paid to one another. In December 2017, a Chinese delegation led by me visited ONN and INIMAT to discuss the China-Cuba cooperation in mutuality. The meeting note was signed for cooperation projects. In September 2019, a Cuban delegation led by Mr. Fernando Rodriguez visited NIM for discussion on potential cooperation for capacity building. In October 2019, a Cuban delegation led by Armando Bartista, Vice Minister of CITMA, visited NIM to discuss metrological cooperation between Cuba and China. Cooperation projects were carried out in the past few years. In 2018, 20 NIM researchers discussed the cooperation proposal suggested by the Cuban side and completed a review report on INIMED capabilities in eight metrological fields. Since 2018, NIM has been cooperating with INIMED in application for the Intergovernmental Cooperation Funds between Cuba and China for updating and improvement of the INIMED technical capabilities. In 2019, NIM worked together with INIMED and finally got funding from the Ministry of Science and Technology of China to support a training workshop on food and biomedicine measurement standards and technologies. This project is still to be implemented due to the delay caused by COVID-19. There are many possibilities for future cooperation in metrology between China and Cuba, such as joint research projects, measurement comparisons, technical consultation and services, training workshops, visiting scientists, etc. We hope for a brighter future in the cooperation with our Cuban friends. Thank you for your attention.